have had these for five months hole starting to crack and get a hole right there I get water in my shoes I think it's time to put on my cold weather boots Good morning, Bernice. Come here. You too, Bernice. Good morning. Fuzzy Buggins. I love what you did with your hair, Fuzzy. I love it. Where's Buttercup? There's Buttercup right there. Buttercup. Check their feed. You guys have been going through this feed. These guys have been going through this feed. Oh, hey, hey, excuse me. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Fill up this feed this morning. So we usually buy egg laying feed in bulk also. And we'll buy probably eight or so bags at a time. I like to give the meat chicken some extra water. I'm working on some more Christmas presents over here. I showed you that I was saving seeds from our lemon gem marigold plant and so now another thing that i'm saving from our garden is some herbs we had we did really well with herbs this year and i thought it would be a really cute christmas gift to um just kind of package up some of these herbs and just give like a little trio of some of the herbs that we grew in our garden and just i dried them out up here on our herb drying rack and they've sat for about a week or so. I've got chamomile, some mint, some Tulsi basil, and some thyme, some more sage, and rosemary. I'm just letting them dry, and then um, I'm gonna put them into a little package. These are really cute because they have like a little zipper. It's like a little zipper pouch, so you can seal it in that way, and they can keep fresh in there. And then there's like a little window where you can see what's inside. I just think it's a really cute way to give a little bit back from your land to family members who maybe don't have a garden or unable to garden and they just want something fresh and it just comes from your land and I think it's just so sweet. I also have been saving and harvesting some of the tea that we grew on our property. We grew so much of it that I was able to put enough away for our whole family as well as for little gifts as well. So this is So The Land Tea from our garden and this one is Tulsi Basil. This one is the Lemon Balm. I put a fancy sticker but then I liked the handwriting one better. Now that it stopped raining, I needed to get back in the shop today because I need to chop some more wood outside and get started on a new wood wall hanging.
What are you guys doing over here? Let's check out this pumpkin patch. No, I think over here. It's so buggy out here and wet. Like things will disintegrate <laughs> if we don't pick them and have them cure inside. This was the area where we had our two pigs at, where they dug up the area for us, and we planted pumpkin and some squashes here. Well, this one probably could have been left on just a little bit longer, but I think we can let it store outside for a little bit. Our two pigs were in here for about two weeks. All right, guys, we're day seven with these two Bacon Brothers, and look what they have done to this bush that we wanted them to take down. They took out basically all the grass, mostly. And after they dug up this spot, we cleared it out a little bit, and then we came back in here with compost. All right, guys, this is start of our pig garden miracle. Uh, the brothers really did a number on this area. They tilled up our area for us, which they basically tore up the grass and took the grass out. So now we're trying to prep it because we need to plant some pumpkins. We're going to be planting all the pumpkins this year. Yes, yeah, Penelope's pumpkin patch. How bad do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> and then after the compost, we healed up some rows and then we planted or transplanted some pumpkins and some squashes. These are Tahitian melon squashes from Baker Creek Seeds. Look at these. <laughs> these are crazy. The pigs did most of the work for us. They tilled it all up. I didn't have to rent a tiller. Wow. They're heavy. They're <laughs> like, they're not light. We had more planted actually. It's okay. We still have some growing. We're still harvesting here. These pumpkins are not quite done ready. And this is also our first time growing in this area because of the pigs. Isn't that pretty? Look at how pretty that is. The trick is, is plant way more than what you need. Yeah, to share. Yeah. With the groundhogs and the worms. This one looks good. I love cucumbers. Cucumbers. Well, it's the end of the day, guys. I want to tell you about an event that's going on at Home Centers of America Conference. The live event is canceled, but the event is moving online this year. And we're going to be speaking about our story, our homesteading journey, homesteading after cancer. And while that's playing, we're going to be answering questions live with you all. Uh, so if you want to see more information about that event, I'll leave a link down below. But it's the end of the day. Lorraine's in the garden. Mom's playing with Penelope. Feels like fall. And everything's all good. <laughs>